Thousands of you voted, so I think today we're going to go for it. We're going to make the very first ever Blackout Quest 3, and then I'm going to give it away to one of you. So a few months ago, I posted a poll on the YouTube community and I asked if Meta should release a blackout version of the Quest 3. I actually did two polls. I did one that was, should Meta release a blackout version of the Quest 3? And then I did one that had some other suggested colors and it was like red and blue and pink. And overwhelmingly, everybody was like, yeah, black for sure. And it does kind of make me wonder why Meta doesn't just do this because it seems like the interest is there and other gaming companies sell their consoles in different colors. I mean, that gray PlayStation 5 that was like the retro version of it with the retro logo is like the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. And the thing is, it's like a black Quest 3 would look cool. Any other color of the Quest 3 would look cool. Why are we stuck with white? The Quest 1 was black. That looked cool. The Quest Pro is black. That looked cool. So what gives? And I actually do have some experience in customizing quests. We've done a little bit of that before, just for fun, really. I, we've done a couple little giveaways here and there where we gave away custom faceplates. Like we did this gold faceplate for one giveaway like last year at some point. When did we do this giveaway? It was, it was, it was like- Many years ago. Was it many years ago? Yeah. Was it really? It was like, yeah, it was like 2022, we were at, 2023. We were at, um... 8115. Okay, so 2023, we did the gold faceplate. You know, and we've done we've done other things. We did a pop-up for our VR arcade a couple years ago, and we did these ones, and those turned out pretty cool. But yeah, I've never done a Quest 3, and there's not really a good reason why. I mean, you could definitely do it. I mean, there's there's some things on here that we'll, we'll have to be aware of, like the volume button, that's gotta come out so we can paint that properly. The IPD wheel, that's gotta come out so we can paint that properly. Um, I'm a little concerned about the speaker arms, but we'll see. What, what that looks like. And then obviously the front panel glass and the sensors, but those just come out. So, you know, there's no problem there. So today I'm gonna to tear one down. We're gonna prep it, we're gonna paint it, we're gonna show you how it's done. And I think all I really need now is a Quest 3. All right, let's go get a Quest 3. Got Quest 3s. That one will work. Broken speaker on. That means probably everything else works on it, except for that. We'll have to fix that. This will make a great candidate too, because I hate these little plastic speaker rings and we got the metal ones and the metal ones work so much better. Okay, so the one thing that I won't be doing is I'm not gonna go through all the teardown stuff today because, well, I've already shown you guys that. I've got lots of videos on how to tear down Quest 3. So, um, I need my tools. Be right back. There he goes, there he is. Ha ah, ha I'm back, all right. I feel like one of the most common questions that I get on the channel is, but do I have to do a full teardown to get to that? And it's like, yeah, you have to do a full teardown to get to that, especially like charge ports and speaker arms. And that has been a cross unit. There is, no, I take that back. The Quest, the Oculus Quest, the first one, you did not have to take the full unit apart to take the speaker arms off or the charge port out. You just had to take the faceplate off. Or for the speaker arms, you didn't even have to do that. You just unscrew them right from the base. And you know what's funny? That was a more durable speaker arm design. Like straight up, like way more durable. I don't know if I ever saw a broken speaker arm on a, on a Quest 1, on the Oculus Quest. Hmm. Food for thought. Alrighty, we're looking pretty good. I was thinking, oh, I'll take this LCD out and then I'll be like done. But I, I'm not gonna be like done because I've gotta take these speaker arms out. Okay, and LCDs out. Oh, you know what I'm thinking now too? Is the, uh, the audio jack sticks out a little bit and that's white as well. So I'm gonna have to paint the tip of that. It won't be hard. We'll get it. I just have to take it out. I was gonna leave it in the frame, but, but I can't. Cause it has to be blackout. I was gonna do some like little cool trim stuff, but Preston said no. Preston said, you, ha you said blackout. And he's, he's really holding my feet to the fire on it, by the way. You said blackout. Okay, you're right. I did say blackout. All right, there's one. Yeah, I think we could just do that little tip part. Be that hard. Shouldn't be that hard. Famous last words. Okay, there it is. So the things that we're gonna have to worry about are we've got the speaker arm here, speaker arm here. That's a little bit of white. We've got to do the whole bezel um, and we've got to do the front plate and everything that's already black is good. I am gonna, I think, I think I'm gonna use this other front plate that I've got and then we will just swap the cameras out from this one because I know that all of these sensors work and then I don't have to mess with any of this glass. So one thing, 
we've got to do here is we've got to take off these little tops and then we'll have to redo these after everything's done. And that way we can lift this button out here, but more importantly, the charging ports, because we do not, we do not want to get those painted. It's mask tape time, Preston. And we've never done this before, so we're just gonna see how this goes. That's gonna work. And then I'm just gonna take my little tape or my little cutter here. Try not to stab myself too much. It's more art than science. We're just gonna put some happy little birds here. They're not mistakes, they're happy birds now. Cool, so I've got my bezel taped up and I've got all my little peripherals kind of like taken out here. So we won't paint those on accident. Um, volume button's still in there, but uh, the actual like button is not. Um, and then I've got my speaker arms and I've got my face plate. So let's go do that. Gotta get my bang on, bang, bang. Cool. Preston, you know what I realized? I realized we were going to need controllers for this, or controller parts anyway. So I did do a little test run. This is a Quest 2 faceplate, so this is kind of the black that we're gonna end up with. Um, pretty happy with how it turned out, but uh, we'll see. Hopefully the paint adheres to the Quest 3 as well as adheres to the 2. I feel like it should since it's like the same, but we're gonna find out. All right. Blast it. Okay. That's something. I'm gonna need another one of those. Screwed that up. tough because like the the rocking makes it a little bit of a moving target all right we're gonna move on to this this little guy and I'm really pleased with like the fact that I can go really really light in some areas like it's not I don't have to go heavy so like little areas that I have tiny light spots, I can just kind of clean up as much as or as little as I want to. These like smaller pieces are so much more challenging because they want to blow away. I could put some gloves on if you wanted to. Yeah. That would have been a good call, huh? Triggers. I need triggers. Dang it. I knew I was forgetting something. Ah. The only thing that's really left is, I've got the other side of the speaker arms and then this one that I screwed up, so I need to go get another one of those. Good thing I've got a bunch of them. That'll work. I'm just, I'm so happy with how even the paint is. Even when I feel like I'm screwing it up, it still looks good. <laughs> wow. That looks great. All right, time to watch paint dry. It's my favorite part. I totally forgot about these little things, so I have to go paint these things because otherwise they're just gonna be the only white parts on all black controllers, and that's gonna be really annoying. So I'm gonna go paint these things. This is the third time that I've had to go back to the paint booth and load my paint gun up with more paint. I hope that I didn't forget anything else, because it's gonna kill me if I forgot anything else. Why 
Oh, I gotta disassemble some controllers and then we're gonna rebuild them with the black ones and see how that goes. Hopefully this doesn't take me too, too long. So I don't need to tear these down all the way. Yeah, so there we go. Um, I could be happier with these. There's still some white showing, um, and I didn't get this seam as well as I thought I was going to. But uh, for the most part, they look pretty cool. They're, I mean, they kind of look like Quest Pro controllers, to be honest. <laughs> Where's the Quest Pro controller? There's a Quest Pro controller. So, some, uh, some differences. But uh, this is so much heavier because of the internal battery. Yeah. So much heavier. Turned out pretty good. We'll do some touch-ups later. All righty. Um, let's start trying to find all the things that I just shuffled around with no regard for anything. You know what annoys me the most about metal speaker arm rings? Uh, is that this is just a thing that Meta should have done. It's like, it's unbelievable that you just put these flimsy plastic things in here. When a metal one was so easy, what did it cost? Five cents more? Too much. Too expensive. Whatever. Oh, well, the headset will be three grams heavier. Oh, no. All right. It's go time. Oh, my gosh. What? Oh, it looks so good already. I can already see the vision, but I can't see where my screws are supposed to go. Okay, this already is like, this is so cool looking. And I've not even done anything yet. Like, I'm, I'm so jazzed. So excited. And I think that's a wrap. Okay, so we've got our controllers and we've got our headset. And the only thing that I really need now is a head strap. So we got one. Not sponsored or anything. They just made a black head strap and we wanted a black head strap to go with our black Quest 3. So let's check it out. Some assembly required. Put that in there. Cool. And a face shield. Can't live without that. Cool. Oh, and uh, we got the the light. I don't know, Preston. I don't think anybody's going to want this. I think we're just going to have to keep it. Now the real test. We've got to make sure that it turns on. If I did my job right, you'll go, you'll hear the da -da 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 -da. And we're good. Hey, can everybody hear that? That's the sound of the MetaQuest pairing screen. All ready to go. Sweet. And now for your viewing pleasure, we're going to do some action shots. All right, so that's it. That's the Blackout Quest 3. And we are giving this away to, uh, to one of you guys. So entering to win is easy. It's gonna be the same as it always is with our giveaways. There's a link in the description below. You can click on that link. It'll take you to a page and there's all sorts of ways that you can enter to win. You can subscribe and share things and you can rack up points and you can accrue entries. So that way you have a better chance to win. We are including the head strap and the controllers. So it's not just the headset that you win, you get the whole set. As always, please do consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. It really helps us out, helps us grow, and helps us do more giveaways like this. And also, if you guys have thoughts and questions about the Blackout Quest 3, please drop me a comment below. But that's really all I got for you guys today. So we will see you on the next one.